Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This tutorial is going to be on Proposition 17. So in this proposition, we have that we have two cube numbers, A and B, where the sides are C and D, respectively. And this proposition states that if A does not measure B, then C does not measure D. Similarly, again, we start with our two cubed numbers. If C does not measure D, then A does not measure B. So to prove this, we start with the first part of the proposition, which states that A does not measure B. So those are our, our initial conditions. And we are going to prove this by contradiction. So we are going to assume that C measures D. But according to Proposition 15, if C measures D, then A measures B. But we've already stated that A does not measure B, so there is our contradiction. Thus, our initial statement is false, and D is not measured by C. The second part of the proof, again, two cube numbers. And now we're starting with the condition that C does not measure D. So again, that's our initial condition. And again, we're proving it by contradiction. So if A measures B, according to Proposition 15, C also measures D. But our initial condition has that C does not measure D. So there is our contradiction. And thus, the condition that A measures B is false. And we have that A does not measure B. And that is the second part of this proof. 